All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the second part of our design and build lab. We've already drawn our schematic up of our two starts and two stops circuit. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually build it. So again, I just, I drew up my typical motor control here. You guys know that you have already, or already probably figured out how to add in a stop switch and a second start switch. I'm going to again show you guys how it was set up on my trainer, what my expectations were, and then you're gonna go ahead and build it and uh, turn it in. So let's go check that out. All right, so again, I have my uh, trainer knot. It's all set up and ready to go. When I press the start button, the whole system starts. When I press this stop button, system turns off, this start, that stops. So either one of my starts will start the system. Either one of my stops will stop the system. Oh yeah, and I do have a break or a, E stop in here to turn it off. If I am starting it and my breaker blows, it will also kill the circuit. If I have it on and my overload, oh sorry, overload right here goes off, it'll kill the circuit. I can reset it and should start up again. All right. So hopefully you guys were, you know, did pretty good on that uh, schematic and everything looks good. You've talked to instructors, things like that, and you feel pretty confident. Go ahead and build it and uh, good luck.